Hello everyone. Today, I'm diving into a critical issue that's gripping Zimbabwe right now. Why are so many Zimbabweans saying a firm no to President Emerson Mnangagwa becoming the next SADC chair? Let's break it down. Mnangagwa's tenure has been marred by serious allegations of police brutality. The Zimbabwe Republic Police, or ZRP, has been accused of using excessive force against citizens. This isn't just about isolated incidents. It's a pattern of behavior that's been deeply troubling for many. Take the case of Jameson Timber, a prominent member of the opposition party, the Citizens Coalition for Change, or CCCC. Timber was brutally beaten by the ZRP, resulting in severe injuries, including broken arms. This kind of violence is not just a violation of human rights, it's an outright assault on democracy itself. Now imagine the leader under whose watch these actions occur, being elevated to a prestigious regional position like the, say, DC chair. It's not just about Zimbabwe, it's about the entire Southern African development community. This role requires someone who can foster unity, peace and development qualities that seem starkly absent in Menangagwa's leadership. Citizens are speaking out. They're saying that Menangagwa's actions have disqualified him from this role and they have good reason. How can a leader who permits such brutality at home be expected to uphold justice and human rights on a regional scale? This isn't just political rhetoric, it's a call for accountability. Activists in Zimbabwe are demanding that their voices be heard. They're leveraging every platform available to highlight these abuses and to ensure that SADC makes a decision that reflects the values it stands for. The message is clear. Menangagwa's track record makes him unsuitable for the SADC chairmanship. Zimbabweans want a leader who respects their rights, who champions democracy and who promotes genuine development. Not one who turns a blind eye to police brutality and human rights abuses. So what can you do? Stay informed, share this message, support the activists on the ground. Every voice counts in the fight for justice and accountability. Let's stand in solidarity with the people of Zimbabwe and ensure that their cry for a better future does not go unheard. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, make sure to like, share and subscribe together. We can make a difference. See you in the next video.